What's up everybody, this is Corwin Smith from TechTyro.com and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make a Rook chess piece in Blender. So we'll start uh, by getting right to it. So we're going to click and delete our default cube. And then we're going to go Shift A to insert a circle mesh. And now we're just going to tab into edit mode. And we're going to press F to add the face onto this. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be starting off by working in orthographic view. So we're just going to press 5 to enter orthographic view. And we're going to press 1 to go to the front. And so now we're going to model the base of our rook. So we're just going to press E and we're going to extrude up. And we're going to add a little shape to this. So we're going to press E and right click to reset it back down. And we're just going to scale these faces in. And we're just going to press 1 to go back to the front. E to extrude up. And then we're going to press E to extrude. And again, we're going to right click. And we're going to press S to scale that back out. And then we're going to press E to extrude up. And that pretty much sets a solid foundation for our base. And now we're just going to get into the body of our rook. So we're going to press E to extrude up. And we're going to scale this in. And we're going to extrude back out. And scale that out. And extrude again. Scale it in. Extrude out again. Scale it out. And we'll extrude it one more time. And scale that back in. And so that gives us a base to the body part. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have a curve up just a little bit here. So we're going to extrude up. Scale this in. And then extrude up once more. And scale it in just a little bit. So that adds just a nice curve once we get to add in the smooth in. And so now we're going to get on to adding the top part to our rook. So we're going to press E to extrude up just a little bit and S to scale that out. And we're going to extrude straight up. And now we're going to add a little curved up part here. So we're going to extrude up, scale out, extrude up, scale out. All right. So now we have a nice curve. Maybe we'll just do one more for a nice measure. All right. So now we're going to just extrude straight up. And now we're going to do one more thing before we get to model in the little top part. So we're going to extrude up, scale that in. And we're going to extrude up, scale that out. And move that up just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good to me. So now what we have to do for our rook uh, if you've ever seen them, is they have these pillars that kind of stick out that give it the nice tower looking piece. So what we're going to do, uh, like we were doing at the base, is extrude up. Right click to set it down there again. And we're just going to scale these faces in. And so that'll allow us to select each uh, individual face as we want. Um, what we're going to do is, since this is a 32 sided uh, circle, um, we're going to do six pillars, so we'll select three and then we'll leave one empty. So we'll go into face select mode, and we'll go one, two, three, empty, one, two, three, empty. And so that'll give us three, eight uh, columns. So we'll go back and we'll press 1, and we'll extrude those up, and then we'll tab out of edit mode to take a look at our rook, and it's a pretty nice looking rook if I don't say it for myself. Um, I'm sure you guys will be nice and proud of what you've made, and we'll go back into this mode, uh, sorry, perspective mode. And if you don't have the box here like I don't right now, just press N to bring it up, and we're going to tab into edit mode. And just to set you up for uh, what's going to happen next, I'll go just show you. If you hit smooth shading, you'll see these edges get smoothed out as well. And we don't want that for our rook. 
So we're going to go, uh, go back to flat, tab into edit mode, and we're just going to give these rings a mean crease. Uh, what the mean crease allows is uh, when you have um, an edge, sorry, an edge split modifier on, um, it allows you to have straight edges when the mean crease is on. So we'll go um, into vertice select, give that a mean crease. And then we'll go and select this part here. Uh, easy way to select the inner ring is go to face, select the face, go back to vertices, and just give that a mean crease. And then we're going to want to give each of these, oops, go into edge select, sorry, each of these. While holding shift, you can select multiple just in case you didn't know. We want to give those a mean increase of one as well. And same for the outside. And give those a mean increase. And then we'll want these inner ones as well. those a crease and we're also going to want to add them to each of our layers here except for this one part so we'll go hit alt uh, alt right click crease there alt right click crease oops crease there and since you want to keep this curved part we're not going to crease that but we'll crease this part here and if you want, you can just hit Alt, Shift, and right click, and you'll be able to select multiple ones. Now we're going to leave this middle one here because it'll add the nice smooth that we want there. So we'll keep going. And make sure you get this underside one. And we'll give that a mean crease there. So we'll tab out into object mode, and we'll hit smooth. As you can see, it still looks a little bit wonky. Uh, what we need to do now is add a edge split modifier. Now what this modifier does is it allows an object with smooth shading to have areas with flat shading. Uh, what decides this is the edge angle threshold value we can set. Uh, when you set this angle, all adjacent faces whose separating angles are greater than the threshold angle will receive flat shading, while those below it will remain smooth shaded. So I'll show you the gist of this. So we'll go into the modifier tab and we'll add a edge split modifier. So now you can see since our threshold angle here is 30 degrees that the angel, or the areas that we added the mean crease are nice and blocky and the areas that we didn't have this smooth uh, curve to them. So hopefully that helped you out on how to make a rook. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, check out all our other ones that we have at techtower.com. And for now, this is Corin Smith, and we'll see you later.